For our invoice management system, we would like to implement a mechanism that will allow us to pass parameters from our action controllers to templates. For instance, we have invoices.php template, and this template basically requires a parameter to be passed from a controller. We would need to implement two things. First one, a change that will allow us to pass variables, arguments from action controller to a template. So probably we would be looking at template PHP method. And second one, we need a way of processing incoming query parameters, whether it's get or post parameters, through request to action controller. So we will glue it together. We will have an incoming request with a parameter. We can pass it through request to action controller and from action controller to a template. Let's go ahead and implement template part. So we will be able to pass parameters from action controller to template. Let's go ahead and add an array as a second argument of a template PHP method. And this array would be a list of parameters we would like to pass. And let me call, for example, a key title and a value invoices. As we can see, we don't have a second argument added as part of interface. So let's go ahead and add this second argument. Let's call it vars and by default, it's going to be an empty array. And let's implement this array of vars in a response. So I would need to add additional private array vars variable and this vars will be added through probably public method that we will implement for a response, something like add vars. And we're going to pass an array of variables, return void. So for this, we are going to use array merge PHP function and merge an existing vars array and incoming argument. In this way, every time we will call add vars, we will add to an existing array new variables and we can use these variables in a template. So let's go ahead and use this add vars method and add these variables. Let's go ahead and check that we have variables here. So let me refresh a page. And as we can see, we have title. We can probably also add some additional. Let's say invoice ID equals, as of now, let me hard code this invoice ID. Later we will add this request logic that will allow us to pass through request. As we can see, we have title and invoice ID in a list of our variables. And we have it in a response PHP class. Next, what we need to do, we need to go into render PHP method and use extract PHP function that allows us to import variables into the current symbol table from an array. Basically, it converts an array into variables that we can use in a template. So let's go ahead and use extract. Here we will say this vars as an array. And also, since we are going to use get global variable to provide and read parameters from this get variable, we would need to pass into extract additional constant. It's called xctr underscore skip. As per documentation, it says that, so if there is a collision, don't override the existing variable. And this is also recommended when we will be using 
underscore get global array and it's recommended if we do going to use it make sure to use one of the non-overriding flux values such as extra skip so we're going to use it now let's go back to our implementation so we extracted variables into array of variables into separate variables we can go to a template and try to print a variable and we have a title so let's go ahead and try and print it as we can see we have invoices let's print a second variable that we passed it's called invoice id let's refresh a page and we have one two three everything is correct so let me just remove it what i'm going to do i'm going to add or declare this variable as a string title so it will not show me in php storm that i don't have this variable and i will use this title in my h1 tag and if i refresh a page as we can see we have dynamic parameter passed from an action controller let me change it uh, from action controller to a template it works great and let me pass also invoice id let me do it like this invoice id equals i would like to have it yeah invoice id invoice id second parameter invoice id equals one two three however it's not the identifier of an invoice from a get request or from a url or query of our url as you can see i have it invoice id equals three or any random number so in order to get this invoice id from a request we need to adjust a request so we can have something like request get param non-existing method and we can say invoice id and we can cast it to integer it won't work because we don't have this get param but in order to have it let's go ahead and add a new php method get param string name and it will return next yes also i would go ahead and create get params so we will return a list of parameters and finally get query method that will return a query part of our uri let's go ahead and implement it these three php methods so let me do like this add method stops and i will add three methods and we need parameters let's define these parameters it's going to be an array and this array so get param method we are going to use params name and we will check if it doesn't exist we will return it if null we are going to return null as for get params method let's just simply return all parameters and it's going to be an array and for get query let's go to get pass method and let's print what we have in uri variable and let's go ahead and refresh a page so we have a path that we use in a pass a get pass method and we also have a query so whatever goes after question mark so let's say we will add show equals true it will be represented in a query key of our get uri so we need to get this string and with the help of parse string parse str php function we can parse string into variables and basically we can return an array so let's go ahead and use it and we can implement get query method so get query we will read get uri and then we will use uri query 
and we will return it and if not we will return null and let me also add additional php method into request class called get query params so we can return an array of parameters from when we use get query method query returned finally we are going to use parse str in order to process this query and assign this query to variable called result or beta params so it's our parameters and we can return these params as a result let's go ahead and add this method into our interface nice and finally let me instantiate parameters by creating another method called add params and we are going to use get query parameters let me go ahead and create private function add params and we will use void here and the implementation would be parameters equals array merge these params and params params something like this so in this way when we instantiate new instance of a request we will prepare parameters and it will provide query parameters and assign it to params private class variable also i will trigger params one more time in order to add global post array in case we perform http post request so all the post parameters will be also added into params array of a request object so we can get access it through action controller and in the action controller let's go ahead and use our dump request get params I have to add some default value. As we can see, we have parameters assigned to a request, and by using get params, we can get access to all parameters. So, for example, if we will add additional, or not even title, but page equals three or something, we see this additional parameter added. So when we will go back to a controller and use get param page for example and refresh a page we can see that we have this parameter rendered in a header of our page as well as updated invoice ID that came from a request that we provided or let's say we have five as an invoice ID and we can see we have updated uh, invoice ID that is rendered through our invoices.php template. And this is how we can pass parameters from a request to our template and render these parameters or use it where it's needed in action controller. Make sure to comment below this video if you have any questions and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.